Well, good day to my viewers and to my subscribers. Today we are going to be replacing uh, live a Moen 1225 cartridge. And I'm just going to pan here. Here is the, uh, uh, the uh, culprit right there. That cartridge there has been, that's the original one, been there in there for about 25 years. Um, I watched a lot of YouTube videos and uh, I have some uh, ideas here. Hopefully there'll be tips and tricks here. Um, of course, because you're doing this, you're shutting off the main water valve. Um, super important to have everything there. Um, just some, you know, your basic tools there. Um, uh, number two uh, screw, uh, number two Phillips that will take the uh, the center um, uh, handle off there, a screwdriver. In case that center stem breaks off, this is a half inch coarse thread by 13 uh, tap uh, uh, to tap in a uh, um, a thread there, so you can thread in. Uh, and these are half inch draw, half inch um, coarse. Um, hardened uh, bolts there with uh, uh, I think that's three quarter inch washer and that's half inch washer so I will show that in case it breaks off I also have another tool the Ona puller there I don't think I'm going to use that tool because that just pulls on the center stem of the uh, let me go in a little bit closer here of the um, a cartridge and if it breaks then you're not it's you know you're you're hooped and you're going to have to uh, thread it as well so this is the replacement new replacement cartridge there and what I am going to be using uh, to remove this is the uh, brand uh, name Moen uh, cartridge remover tool there and I'm going to show uh, a tip there that um, I have not seen on YouTube there so okay so let me get uh, set up here and of course some grease so, um, um, yeah, I have a tap holder right here. Uh, this is made by Lyle, 3H drive, and you just, sorry, 3H drive there. And then you just put the tap in there, and then you'll be able to use that. So I'll show that, oh, there it is. I'll show that in case you need it, um, in case I need that. So uh, basically, I'm going to start now, and someone in the comments section when I was watching um, the videos said, Turn that to full hot and let that run for a few minutes just to get the cartridge and the, uh, the valve body there uh, hot. So uh, hopefully the rubber will, uh, will, will have some give way there. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. And then I'm going to come back in the, uh, in, the, uh, in the next shot there. Okay, so we'll see you in the next shot. Okay, so uh, I ran the hot water uh, for a few minutes there, shut the main water off. This is a number two uh, Phillips. Removed, I already loosened this. Remove the center, uh, I guess this is a, not a screw, it's, I guess it's kind of like a bolt there. Of course, make sure you have that covered and uh, yeah, that you don't scratch the anything here. So that just comes off and uh, I'll get my cameraman. Yeah, I think I, I'm, okay. I'm accident in. And then we're gonna. I'm. I'm gonna not move this. I think this is called the uh, shot. So I'm just gonna pull this out here. Hopefully, I can pull that uh, cover off here. This hasn't been off in like I don't know how many years. Twenty-five years. So it's probably nice and crusty in here. Okay. So there we go. And then, so I think I'll just uh, put that over there and that'll get cleaned up. Okay, so then there is a little, um, I'll get uh, my helper to give me the magnet, please. There's a small yeah, washer, washer here. Yeah, see, sorry, one second. Uh, just, uh, small washer, maybe I can get it up. Yeah, I can get up with my pliers, okay? So don't forget the small washer there. That's what it looks like right there. And then there is a um, I don't know what you call this, U-clip, that comes out, make sure you don't lose that, put that to the side. So, sorry, can you just go back as I was zoomed in, can you just show them where it was? Okay, it was right here, okay? Yeah, okay. So it was Thanks. right here, it was right there, okay, make sure, like, make sure it's seated there, so okay, just don't lose this, because then you're going to have a bad day. 
So that just gets pulled out. Okay. And now we're going to grab the uh, uh, we're going to grab the uh, mow and puller there. Uh, I'll get my cameraman to hand that to me, please. Thank you. Oh, this one. Yeah, the silver this one. one. Yes, thank you. And then these tabs here, I don't know how close you can zoom this. Oh, I so can these tabs it. just fit right in. They only go in one way, okay? So they only go in one way like that. So make sure it's in there. And then we, uh, we're going to screw in the middle screw here. And uh, could you please hand me my quarter inch drive, um, my quarter inch drive, uh, hand driver and it has a socket on oh, the yes. end. I will tell what size that is. Thank you very much. So this center uh, bolt here on the Moen cartridge removal tool is a 5 16 So we're just going to go in like so. Okay, so that's in. We are going to tighten that. Okay, we're going to tighten that. Okay, I think that's tightened right there. Okay, and then we're going to thread this, start threading this on, and this will start the pulling process. Okay, and then what we're going to do is actually, oh, okay, I guess that didn't work. That's a fail right there. <laughs> Okay, I guess this needs to go in a little closer there. So, uh, yeah, we're doing this live. So, again, uh, I don't know what uh, I don't know what happened there. Unless I'm supposed to pull this out. Maybe that maybe I'm supposed to do that. Again, this is the first time me doing this. So, why don't we just uh, pull this out? Of course, read the directions. Because if you read the directions then uh, of the tool, that's the best way to do it. So let's just uh, try this again. And I think, yes, I think we're going to have more better success there. Okay. Let's see if that, oh yeah, I can feel that, yes. Okay. So that is in. Okay. Now we start tightening this, and I'll get my camera person to please uh, hand me my adjustable crescent wrench, please. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to, thank you, let me just see if I can get this on. Yeah. Oh yeah, right there, okay. What I think I'm going to do is just give this a turn, or a half a turn there. And I'm going to move this, none of your videos um, said this, but I think in order to break the seal here, just to move this so it's moving the ears left, right, left, right, like this, okay, like this, you see that? And that already feels really loose. Okay, again, this has been in for 25 years, so there we go. And now, so what I'm doing is breaking the seal. A lot of the YouTube videos just put the puller on and they just started pulling. Well, once you've firmed it up here, turn this. See if you can turn it. Okay, like what I'm doing. Put it back. And then start tightening this. And this is hopefully pulling out the uh, cartridge and not just the stem. Because then we have to go to a plan B there. Okay, so... Let's see. And there is the cartridge right there. And something came out. It looks like a uh, piece of and I'll just metal see. there. Yeah, that looks Can like a piece show that? of metal. Yeah, it looks like a piece of metal that came from there. So, okay, there is. So the old cartridge, as you can see, is. Uh, yeah, I don't know where that piece of metal came from. So we're gonna. See where that is. So this is the old cartridge right there. Again, this is plastic. So this is an old, see it says Moen. Uh, this is, um, uh, uh, I think the 1220 or 1222 is, uh, is brass. 
So as you can tell, this plastic one came out to, you know, really quite easily. So the new one that we're going to be putting in is a 1225. Uh, and that, of course, is plastic as well, too. So I think one of the tricks is this one came out easily simply because I think this was plastic there. OK, and then we're going to coat the the well, clean the inside there and coat the rubber with 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 grease. So I don't want to jump ahead here. So what we're going to do is just remove uh, this. So this came, of course, this is like a best case scenario here that it came out so uh, so easily there. I still don't know where that little metal piece, where that came out from. Um, so that's a good uh, good question there. And I think the hot water is with the valve, with the little hole facing up. I think that's the hot water. Okay, I forgot to check that, but I think that's the... That's the trick there, okay? Um, so, yeah, these tabs go uh, 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, simply because the pin goes in there. So, okay, I think what we're going to do is, uh, I think we're going to just stop the video here. I'm just going to uh, uh, inspect this hole, clean it up, and we'll come back in the next shot. Okay, so I'm using a different, uh, I'm using my phone here because the camera died. So I just want to uh, show you um, here. I don't think I can go in that much there, but if you look there, that I clean that. That um, has to be super clean. You have to clean everything out of there. Now there's a little bit of green crusties in there on the very back. I don't know if you can see that right there. Um, I don't even know how to do this. Yeah, I guess right over there in there but anyways this has to be there was a little bit of build up there for me so you have to clean that i used um emery cloth and this is fine and this was actually seemed a little bit too it left very small micro scratches there right because that's copper um so i would probably recommend this if you have some scale build up Vinegar. I used vinegar in a cup with a uh, toothbrush. I don't know if I showed you that or not. Maybe I'll get my cameraman to um, bring that here and um, clean this out. And then I used something like, okay, so there it is. Thank you. That's that's the toothbrush. And you just go in there. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So let's put that away. Thank you. And uh, that's a narrow cup, the base there. And then I used... Uh, for a final one, just 600 grit sandpaper, okay, waterproof sandpaper. This is super, super, very fine there, okay? But just be careful what you're using, because again, this is fine emery cloth, and it left a little bit of mica. I don't think the, the camera can do justice there. Left a little bit of micro scratches there on it. I mean, you don't feel anything with your fingers, so hopefully it should be fine. But anyways, I would probably recommend not, unless you can get extra fine emery cloth. So anyways, that has to be clean. Then um, uh, just put a, like a, um, an old ice cream pail or something over that and, and uh, uh, turn on the, get someone to turn on the main water valve out and flush that out, okay? Uh, once that's flushed out, you can put some of this uh, silicone um, grease by Danco there. Just put grease inside there liberally and, of course, the uh the cartridge right there so uh once that's cleaned out you put the silicone on this and just coat the rubber here then this is uh ready to go and maybe i'll hand this to the my camera person there okay and i think it's the tabs go again 12 and 6 and i think that hole means top so left is going to be uh hot right is going to be cold but we'll see that so this just is going to go in Nice, it should go nice and easy in here. And you want to push that. Actually, the, the, they give you that little tool. Um, uh, they give you that little tool. Uh, I'm just wondering if uh, you can just grab me that little white tool, please. White tool. Um, that little plastic thing. Oh, right? this one. Yeah, that okay. one there. Thank you very much. Okay. okay, so they give this to you in the package just for this. So you can just center this push this in all the way and then when you put your uh, this clip in this has got to line up obviously 12 and 6 for the tabs there and this has got to go in and seat all the way 
down to the bottom like so okay so make sure that's seated all the way down it can't go in down anymore okay and that's important and then the little uh, o-ring goes uh, uh, there and then the handle so I'm just gonna clean uh, clean the handle up and I'll come back in the next shot there okay so make sure that clip is flush okay and I think it, it there's a notch there I think it goes yeah I don't know I don't think you can see that there but just make sure this clip goes in uh, all the way all the way down there okay we'll see you in the next shot okay so I lost my cameraman here but uh, okay so I put this uh, cover back on don't forget to put that little if your yours has one don't forget to put that little uh, washer uh, in there it only goes in one way because it's notched on both sides just like I think that's notched on both sides or maybe once a, yeah, I think it's both sides it's notched yeah and then the uh, the handle just goes on and then uh, I would recommend cleaning the threads on this because this was a little bit mangled here so uh, probably could buy a new handle with a with a screw there uh, but uh, but anyways I'm not going to show that because this just goes in you tighten it and then uh, um, hot should be left cold should be uh, right now in case it's reversed then all you have to do is just take this and just rotate it 180 degrees okay so there's lots of videos on YouTube showing that okay so if it's uh, reversed then all you do is just 180 degrees that there and uh, and that's it so um, I think the reason that this one this was in here the cartridge was in here for about 25 years it's the original with the with the um, came with the the faucet there because it was a plastic one i there are many videos on YouTube that you can watch where it is really uh, nasty to uh, uh, to remove and you need uh, other tools like uh, like the extractor here let me just go a little slower here um, sorry where you need the uh, the tap there okay to tap into it so um, the best advice is is just be prepared for the worst there okay make sure you have the different washers I think that's three quarter inch I think those are half this is a half inch bolt coarse thread make sure you have different sizes uh, there but again I uh, I lucked out because it was uh, it was plastic so um, that's it for this video there I would like to thank my uh, viewers and especially my subscribers and I hope this uh, um, video helps someone out there and wishing you all the uh, all the best uh, all the best thank you for watching